again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 4th of February, 2019. Went ahead and took a look at an article that I'm going to be talking about. And the title of the video that I'm going to post is Eastern Virginia Medical School Yearbooks Need Further Review. Now, i got to believe that that isn't the only yearbook that has those kinds of comments against blacks. Why? Well, Eastern Virginia Medical School is in Virginia. <laughs> the title of this article on USA Today, I am not the person in that photo, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam denies he was in racist image. And that's after he admitted having been the person in that image. And he expressed his sorrow and sadness. And then he went ahead when he thought about it and did a left turn, going 180 degrees in the other direction. I think what has to happen is that those yearbooks, not only of 1984, but of 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and going in the other direction, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78, you want to bet that those books are full of similar comments, not necessarily with Ralph Northam, but I got to believe that he's in probably more than just that one. So the years that he attended initially have to be reviewed, and again those subsequent years and those previous years books also have to be reviewed. And what you're going to find is that Eastern Virginia Medical School, their attitude towards blacks was what their attitude was towards blacks. I'll attach the link, you look at it, you let me know what you think, and i got to believe that there's a number of institutions that are reviewing those books right now. We'll see what comes of it. There's no question that Ralph Northam's reign as governor needs to come to an end. He's being pretty much attacked by everyone everyone, including the head of the Democratic Party. Just a matter of time, folks. He has got to go. And I hate to say it, but Eastern Virginia Medical School, they may need to go as well. We'll see, won't we? You think they're the only institution like that? Huh? I'll guarantee you, if you looked at the books of students that graduated, not only in medical school, in engineering schools, you name it. That's how it was back then, wasn't it?